Hello friends, a very warm welcome to the Crochet Hook channel. I'm very happy to bring you all this very beautiful and nice crochet pocho pattern. It's a very elegant pocho pattern and yet it's very simple to work with. It has a broad mesh border onto the lower side and a beautiful body on the upper side. And it's finished well with tassels. Have a look from all the sides. On the sleeves, it comes to around three quarter length. This is the back side. This is how it looks. You can also rotate it and bring one of the shoulder sides to the front and wear it like this. This way also, the looks are awesome. This mesh pattern then falls on the sleeves and it looks so beautiful. For the friends who are joining me here for the first time, please do consider subscribing to my channel. So let's get started with the pattern and have fun. So this is our pocho and let's have a closer look, the finished look. This has a broad border on the lower side. First I created this DC row and then went up to create this body section first. Then I joined my yarn on the lower side and created this broad border using a mesh pattern. Demarcated the neck from both the sides and just bordered it simply swen the shoulders as well and also have bordered the edges of this poncho on both the sides putting four tassels in four corners it's basically two rectangular pieces created separately and then joined together onto the shoulder sides let's have a closer look this is simple window pane stitch i have already shared in one of my playlist called crochet patterns advanced crochet stitches and crochet motifs please go ahead and check that out i have shared it in icard as well and this is simple two row mesh pattern and it looks very elegant see and this is the demarcated neck so let's get started with the pattern and have fun creating this pocho So here I have taken yarn of my choice. This is ice batik multicolored wool and I've taken three such balls. It's a very soft wool. Nextly a crochet hook of 3.50 millimeters. A pair of scissors measuring tape, few stitch markers and a sewing needle as well. So let's get started. And as I have already mentioned, this pattern is a repeat of 12 stitches and 10 rows. So then work a slip knot and you can chain any multiple of 12 plus 10 more chains and here I'm going for 15 repeats of this pattern so I'm going to work 15 into 12 that is 180 chains plus 10 more chains so a total of 190 chains I'm going to work on so then begin chaining just keep counting till you reach a total of 190 chains And 190 chains we are here chaining for the for only one portion of that pocho either the front or the back so here I have finished 190 chains to begin the round one yarn over skip four chains three and four into the fifth one fifth chain below insert the hook work one DC yarn over Insert the hook into the next chain work 1 DC. So here we have 3 DCs counting first chain 4 also as a DC. We have 3 DCs worked yarn over again. Into the next chain work 1 DC. 4. Yarn over again into the next chain work 1 DC. Simple round of DCs. We'll just keep creating 1 DC into every chain ahead just like this move all the way till you reach the end and at the end we should have a total of 187 dcs worked so here i have worked my first round worked all my 187 dcs and then to begin the round two chain three again one two and three turn the work 
yarn over into the next DC below work 1 DC again into the next DC work 1 DC 1 double crochet yarn over into the next DC below work 1 DC this is again a simple round of DCs and we'll just keep working one DC atop every DC ahead till we reach the end. A total of 187 DCs to be worked till end here. So here I'm just reaching the end of this row. A few more DCs to go. And then in the stop third chain and see the hook in the top fourth chain and work the last DC here. So we have worked two rows of DCs. Chain three again, turn the work. Yarn over into the next DC, work one DC. Again, work one DC into the next DC. Work one DC into the next DC. And this again is a simple round of DCs. So then just work one DC out of every DC till you reach the very end just as we did in the last round and reach the end I'll see you there. So here I have reached all the way from here till this end. A couple of more DCs to go. I'm reaching the end of this round three here, the row three, and then in the stop third chain, instead the hook, work the last DC of this row. So here we have one, two, and three rows completed. We'll go for next two more rows to work the window pane. So then chain three and turn the work, yarn over into the next DC, work one DC. Yarn over into the next DC, work 1 DC. First chain 3 also counts as a DC. <clears throat> so we have a total of 3 DCs. Then into the next DC, work the 4th DC. Into the next DC, work the 5th DC. Into the next DC, work the 6th DC. And yarn over into the next DC, work the 7th DC. So from here till here, we have a total of 7 DCs worked. And then chain 2, yarn over, skip 2 DCs below. Insert the hook into the third DC, work 1 DC, chain 2 again, yarn over, skip 2 DCs below and yarn over into the third DC, work 1 DC and again after this 1 DC will work 6 more DCs as we are going to work 7 DCs in a row again. So this is the second DC of the row, one already had been made, the third DC in the next DC. Work the 4th DC in the next DC, then work the 5th DC in the next DC, yarn over, work the 6th DC in the next DC below, and yarn over, work the 7th DC in the, seven, in the next DC below. So here we have 7 DCs in a row after this window pane. Chain 2 again, after 7 DCs worked in a row, we work the window pane, so then chain 2, yarn over, skip 2 DCs into the third one, work 1 DC, chain 2, yarn over, Skip two DCs into the third one, work one DC and then work six more DCs ahead, one atop the next six DCs below. So then the second DC worked, third DC worked, fourth DC worked, fifth DC worked, sixth DC worked here and here comes the seventh DC of this row that's worked here. So we are simply alternating seven DCs in a row with the window pane. Chain 2 again, creating the window pane again. Skip 2 DCs, insert the hook into the third DC, work 1 DC, chain 2 again, yarn over. Skip 2 DCs, insert the hook into the third DC, work 1 DC. This is the first DC of the 7 DC in a row. And so then, just work 1 DC into every DC head till you have a total of 7 DCs work together.
So again, we have seven DCs worked in a row. Then chain two, skip two DCs into the third one, work one DC, chain two, yarn over, skip two DCs into the third DC, work one DC. This is the first DC and then work six more DCs in the next upcoming six DCs below. Just like this. So here we work seven DCs in a row. First chain three also counts as a DC. Then we work this window pane. Two chain, one DC in the third DC. Two chain, one DC in the third DC. And then again, we have seven DCs in a row here. Then again, we created this window pane after the seven DCs in a row the same way. Two chain, one DC, two chain. And then again, we created seven DCs in a row. And just like this, keep continuing till you reach the very end. And I'll see you there. So I'm just reaching the end of this row here. A couple of more stitches to go. This is the last window pane I finished. And then working my seven DCs in a row here. One already made. The second DC worked. The third DC worked. The fourth DC into the next DC. Fifth DC into the next DC. Sixth DC into the next DC and to work the seven DC yarn over into this top third chain work the last DC here. This is the seventh DC of this row here. So we have a total of four rows done. Now chain three and turn the work. Yarn over into the next DC work one DC. First chain three here stands as a DC. Yarn over into the next DC work one DC. So then we have three DCs now. Yarn over into the next DC, work the 4th DC. Yarn over into the next DC, work the 5th DC. Yarn over into the next DC, work the 6th DC. Yarn over into the next DC, work the 7th DC. So again, we have created 7 DCs in a row, just like the previous row. Then we'll create this window pane again. So then chain 2, yarn over, skip these 2 chains. And into this DC below, work 1 DC. Chain 2 again. Skip the 2 chains below. And we have seven DCs ahead in a row. Insert the hook into the very first DC and begin working one DC atop each of the six, seven DCs ahead. So one already has been worked. Just keep working one DC atop all the seven DCs below. So we have this complete window pane being worked here. Then again, here we'll go for the window pane stitch. Chain 2 yarn over, skip these two chains into this DC here. Work 1 DC, chain 2 again, skip two chains below. And again, we have 7 DCs in a row. Just begin working 1 DC atop each of the 7 DCs below. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So 7 DCs in a row are created. Chain 2, yarn over, skip 2 chains below in this DC below, work 1 DC. Chain 2 again, yarn over, skip 2 chains below. And again, keep work, just work 1 DC atop each of the 7 DCs below. Just as we did earlier. 2, three, four, five, six, and seven. And after completing these seven DCs that are worked in a row, again, go for the window pane. So here we have finished five rows and we worked seven DCs. Then we created the same pattern, window pane onto window pane. Then from here, Till here, this is one repeat of the pattern. Then again from this DC till this second chain here, this is the second repeat. And then again from this DC till the second chain here, this is the third repeat. And just keep moving and working the same pattern till you reach the end. So here I have reached the end of this round. A couple of, worked my last window pane also, a couple of DCs left. So then into every DC ahead, this is <clears throat> we are working seven DCs in a row and so just work one DC top each of these DCs and then this top third chain work the seven DC 
and this finishes five rows here. Now we'll create the three DC row again and then we'll again go for the window pane pattern. So then chain three into the next DC, work one DC, yarn over into the next DC, work one DC, into the next DC, work one DC, we'll just work seven DCs, one DC atop each of the seven DCs below, simple. And this round is like round one, row one. So we created seven DCs, then yarn over into this chain two, work two DCs, one and two. Then atop this next DC, work one DC. Then yarn over, work two DCs in this chain two ahead. And then again, we have seven DCs in a row, just work one DC atop each of the seven DCs below. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then again yarn over work two DCs in this chain to space below. Yarn over work one DC in the DC below here. Again yarn over work two DCs in the next chain to space here. And then again we have seven DCs ahead. Just work one DC atop each of the seven DCs ahead. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, and seven. Yarn over again. We have two chains below. Work two DCs into the chain two space. Then yarn over. Work one DC atop this DC below. Work two DCs in the chain two space here. One and two, and then again, just work one DC atop each of the seven DCs ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Simple round. The sixth round is just like row one. And this is how we'll be working our row one each time we move ahead. So then we worked one DC into every stitch and just go like this till you reach the end. So I'm reaching the end here. Last In last window pane I'm going to work my DCs. So then work two DCs in this chain two. Yarn over into the next DC work one DC. Yarn over, work two DCs into this chain two space here. And then we have seven DCs ahead. Just work one DC at top each of the seven DCs below. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here in this top third chain into the hook, work the seventh DC of this row here. So this finishes our sixth round here. After three rows of DCs, we work the window pane. And then again, we created the same row one, which is like row six. And then again, we'll go for two more DC rows. And after that, we'll create the window pane. So here I had left you in the sixth row where we work DCs together and then two more rows of DCs here I have worked seventh and eighth rows worked and then we'll working these two rows of window pane again ninth and tenth and we'll be putting window pane atop the seven DC and seven DCs atop window pane in this next repeat simply we'll be putting the window panes diagonally so then train five this is round 9, 9th row. Chain 5, yarn over, skip 2 DCs into the third one. Work 
1 DC here, we have begun creating the window pane. First chain 3 stands for DC, next two chains is the chain 2 gap, chain 2 again, yarn over, skip 2 DCs into the third one, work 1 DC and then from here begin working 6 more DCs out of 6 DCs below. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and then again after window pane and this 7 DCs in a row will create the window pane again. So then chain 2, yarn over, skip 2 DCs below into the third one work 1 DC, chain 2 again, 1 and 2 yarn over, skip 2 DCs below and from the third one begin working 7 DCs in a row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 so have worked 7 DCs in a row and then again chain 2 yarn over skip 2 DCs below into the third one work 1 DC chain 2 yarn over skip 2 DCs below and from the third one just work 7 DCs 1 DC into each of the 7 DCs below 1 already done into the next one the second DC 2 3 4, 5, 6 and 7, chain 2, yarn over, skip 2 DCs below, insert the hook into the third DC, work 1 DC, chain 2 again, yarn over, skip 2 DCs below and from this third DC begin working 7 DCs in a row, so 1 already done, 1 DC into the next DC, 2, 1 DC into the next DC 3, 1 DC into the next DC 4, 1 DC into the next DC 5, 1 DC into the next DC 6 and 1 DC into the next DC 7. So here we have 7 DCs again worked in a row. So here to begin this ninth row here we worked 5 chains, skip 2 DCs, work this DC in the third DC then chain 2. Skip 2 DCs and from the 3rd DC we began working 7 DCs in a row and we have put the 2 window pins diagonally this time. So this is the only thing that we have to keep in mind. At top window pins we are working 7 DCs and at top 7 DCs we are working window pins. So just go like that and I will see you at the end. So I am reaching the end just going to create my last window pane after 7 DCs so then chain 2 skip 2 DCs into the third one work 1 DC chain 2 again skip 2 DCs and in this top third chain insert the hook and work the last DC here so ninth round is ended chain 3 we are beginning the row 10 chain 5 again turn the work after chain 5 turn the work Skip this chain 2 space into the next DC, work 1 DC. Here first chain 3 stands for a DC, next chain 2 is the chain 2 space, chain 2 again. And again we have to skip these 2 chains and we have 7 DCs ahead. Just begin working 1 DC atop each of the 7 DCs below. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 so here our window pane and 7 DC is created then again chain 2 we will go for the window pane yarn over into this skip the 2 chains below into the next DC work 1 DC chain 2 skip the next 2 chains and then we have 7 DCs ahead yarn over and work 1 DC atop each of the 7 DCs 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 
Again, go for a window pane, chain 2 yarn over, skip the 2 chains below into the next DC, work 1 DC, chain 2 again, skip 2 chains below and from this first DC head till the 7th DC, just begin working 1 DC at the top of each of the 7 DCs below, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Again, we'll go for this window pane. So then here, we have created this window diagonally with this window below. And we are working DCs atop windows and windows atop DCs. If we compare it with the windows and DCs worked in the lower rows, and here I'm reaching the end. So then working my last window chain to yarn over. Skip the two chains in this DC work one DC chain two again. Yarn over. Skip the two chains into the third chain. Inside the hook work the last DC of this row here. So this finishes the 10 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the first repeat. And then we again created the same pattern. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, two rows of window panes, but just keeping the windows diagonally. So we have 10 rows and this is the pattern that we will be repeating over and over to reach our desired length. So then again, we'll be working three rows of DCs, just like six, seven and eight rows and then we'll go for this window pane and we'll be putting window panes again diagonally with the ones worked immediately in the rows below. And so just simply we have to repeat these 10 rows and uh, reach our desired length. I'll work little more with you. So then chain 3 we are going to work this DC row again. So then yarn over and then in this next chain 2 space work 2 DCs, 1 and 2, yarn over in this DC work 1 DC, yarn over in the next chain 2 space work 2 DCs. This is how we have to work the first DC row each time we are going to climb and then again we have 7 DCs ahead just work 1 DC atop each of the 7 DCs below. Simple round of DCs. Then into the next two chains, two chain space work two DCs. Into this DC work one DC. Yarn over into the next chain two space work two DCs. And then again, we have seven DCs ahead. Just work one DC atop each of the seven DCs ahead. This is a simple round of DCs. So we are working DCs all over. Row 11 here is just like row 6. Simple row. So this is the 3 rows of DCs that you have to work. This is the first row that we are working on to work 2 more DC rows and then again go for the repeat. Then go for 3rd, 4th and 5th rounds and so on. So here I have completed this section and if I just measure the width unstretched it comes to around 30 centimeters and the length of this portion this is the one portion that I have I'm showing here and the length comes out to be around uh, 112 centimeters here this is totally unstretched as you can see this is 112 centimeters here And if I just go counting the rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
and 28. A total of 28 rows I have worked here. And this comes out to be 30 centimeters unstretched and this is 5 repetitions here. And nextly onto this side or any one of the sides on the length side we are going to create a border. So let's begin. I am going to change the color to gray 